I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We are taking some questions which are extremely difficult and which have appeared in past test papers of IBHL. I really find it very difficult to solve these questions and most students do not get them right. So in this particular video, I'll explain you the strategy to solve such questions. The diagram shows the graph of a linear function and a quadratic function. So that's the linear function for you, a straight line and a quadratic function. On the same axis, catch the graph of f over g, indicate clearly where the x intercepts and the asymptotes occur. So we have to sketch the graph of f over g. So the question is to graph f over g. Now let us say, let's indicate some point. This is the x axis origin. Let's call this point as a and this point here as b. So, we are dividing by g which is the parabola. So, that goes in the divisor and the numerator we have the linear function. So, let's understand the properties. First, where will the function have a 0? If we have f over z, then Whenever f is equal to 0, then f over g will be 0, right? So, these are fine points that we have to look into. And therefore, the function will have a 0 at a. So, we have a 0 at a. So, this is my 0. So, we can write down our notes here. So, we have 0 at x equals to a. Now, divisor is g a parabola. Wherever the divisor has a 0, the function will have a vertical asymptote, right? So, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 0 and x equals to b, correct? So, we can draw vertical asymptotes at these points. Let's say these are the vertical asymptotes. So, we got some critical points, especially the vertical asymptotes and the x intercept. Now, the other part which we need to look into is what is the behavior near asymptotes? That is to say, when x approaches a, let us say 0 first, right? from positive side. That means from the right side, we are approaching the origin. So, at this stage, what is happening? Both our functions are negative, right? So, this is also negative, this is also negative. So, that means y value will be approaching positive infinity, correct? Since it is going very high, it will approach positive infinity. So, the function will approach like this right, near the vertical asymptote. On the right hand side, as x approaches b, from the left side, that means here, in that case, let us look into the sign of both the graphs. We have this as positive, right, and this as negative. So, positive and negative means negative and therefore, function will approach negative infinity. So, y approaches negative infinity. Is that part clear to you? And if we look into x when approaching b from the right hand side, that is right side of b, in that case we observe what? Well, clearly we observe that both are positive, right? This is also positive, this is also positive and therefore 
we are going to approach in this particular fashion, correct? So, we say y is approaching positive infinity. Makes sense. Correct. And now, let us also mark another very important point. We have 0, a and b. Let us mark a point which is the boundary here. Let us say this point is c. So, at c, what is happening? So, when x approaches c, of course, from the left side, so minus means left side, both are positive. We are dividing by a bigger number, right? Well, at present, because both values are same, numerator and denominator, so at this point, we have y, which is approaching 1, correct? Rather, it is equal to 1, right? So, let us say this is 1 for us. So, so that will be the value. So, we are assuming this to be 1. So, so the right hand side can be sketched as, right, and of course, this will approach the, towards the horizontal asymptote, right. So, that becomes this particular part. Does make sense because here both values are seen, right. So, this value will be 1 for us. Is that clear to you? Now, let us get back to the center part. We already know the zeros, the behavior near the asymptote, right. Now, if you look into the part which is to the left side of A, so what do you notice? You notice that both are negative, right. So, both are negative. That means when x is greater than 0 and is less than a, right? In that case, y is actually positive, correct? Because both are negative, right? And you also notice that it is approaching 0 and therefore, the graph at this particular point should be what? It should be like this, right? it is approaching 0. Do you see that? Since you are dividing by a larger and larger value, both are negative. Now, at this particular point, what is happening? At this particular point, numerator is positive, but denominator is negative, and therefore, we get a negative value. And here also, we have positive and negative, and so we have a negative value. So, asymptote you could see was going like this, and therefore, we can just connect this, and there you go. You see that part. So, we get a graph which will be looking like this. So, you can see it is concave up, up to A, and then concave down. Does make sense to you? Correct? So, let us try to understand once again the strategy of sketching this particular function, ok. So, I will go through these steps clearly once again, right. So, here we are given the functions, right. So, we have f over g. So, what are you going to, right. So, this is equal to y now, right. So, y is f over g. So, zeros of numerator, means y is equal to 0. So, we got our point, right. And then, we looked into 0 of denominator, means vertical asymptote, right. So, so we have these points as vertical asymptotes. So, I am sketching the vertical asymptotes, right. So, these are the zeros of denominator. Make sense? So, we have our boundaries. The last point here, where f equals to g, right. So, let me write down the other things on this side.
if f is equal to g that implies y equals to 1 correct so at this point we have 1 let us say this is 1 for us so we have a point 1 at c right so i am writing here 0 this point is a for us right this point is b for us and this point is c for us so at c we have value of 1 so once that is done we are also looking into sine of the graph so, sine is in the interval before A, the sine changes, right? It is both a negative, correct? So, let me put sine in this color. So, this is negative, this is negative. So, both negative will give us positive graph, correct? Now, after A, we have positive linear function in the numerator negative in the denominator. So, we will have a negative portion of the graph. Make sense? After B, both are positive and therefore, we have a positive portion of the graph. Correct? So, we have the sign where the function will be. So, we have the intervals where y is going to be positive. So, we can say that y is greater than 0 means positive in the interval from 0 to A and from B to C and Y is less than 0 in the interval from A to B, correct? Because their signs are different. And most important was the behavior near the asymptote, right? So, let me write down here. So, when x approaches 0 from, it can only approach from the right hand side. In that case, y approaches positive infinity. So, we are showing this, right? And when x approaches a, b from the left side, in that case, y approaches negative infinity. So, we are approaching here. But when x approaches b from the right hand side, y approaches positive infinity. You get the idea. And that connects with the given information. You see that? And that gives you the final result of our function y. Perfect. So, this is the graph of y. So, that is how we are going to draw. So, I hope the points are absolutely clear. Right? Beautiful question which gives you complete idea of how do we sketch a rational function from a very general graph. Right? So, you need to have very clear concepts to answer such questions. We identified the points also, right? Let's see, we identified one. All, both the y-intercepts, uh, both the vertical asymptotes and x-intercepts, right? Perfect. So, I hope your concepts are absolutely clear. Feel free to share your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.